In this video, I will present to you our project Sales Lead Qualifier, which is part of the Amos Lecture at FAU. Here you can see the component-based architecture of our project. On the left are the components which are provided by our industry partner SumUp and that we want to integrate with. On the right is the Sales Lead Qualifier, which we developed. The Sales Lead Qualifier consists of two main components, the Base Data Collector and the Merchant Size Predictor. It also comes with a data store attached where the intermediate results can be stored. Lead data coming from our industry partner is first run through our base data collector. It will collect additional information from various data sources like Google Places API, then which data can then be used by the merchant size predictor to do AI-based predictions. The ultimate goal of aiding the salesperson that sum up is then achieved by providing the prediction results back to them. To satisfy both the open source requirements of our AMOS lecture and also the requests of our industry partner, our application can be run either locally or on Amazon AWS. Our entire project is built on top of Python 3. We also use various open source libraries from the Python package index as dependencies. Besides, we also rely on numerous third-party APIs, most notably Google Places API and Regional Atlas. There's also a possibility to run a review sentiment analysis using EVA, NLTK, or GPT-4. Let's take a look at the actual software now. The first step to run would usually be the base data collector. As an input file, we will use this demo CSV that you can see here. This is obviously not real lead data because of data protection, but except for that, it's pretty realistic in terms of what fields we would have in such a file. So let's run the base data collector now. We will also use a demo pipeline config here, which runs a little bit faster than the regular runs. And we won't set a limit because the data set contains only 10 entries anyway. As you can see, all different sort of pipeline steps are now being run one after the other. For example, this can be API calls to Google Places API. We also have a review inside uh, analysis step and we also query data from Regional Atlas. Once all of those steps are completed, a new enhanced lead data file will be created. Here. We will now take a look at this file. As you can see, the initial data columns have been amended by the newly collected data. For example, here's some data from Google Places API or some data from Regional Atlas. Now that we have enriched lead data available, we can run some predictions on that. We don't want to train a new ML model, so we will skip on step one and two and directly jump to step three instead. So let's run the merchant size predictor. As a first step, the merchant size predictor will create this pre-processed data CSV file. Then it will ask us for a model to use. We will use this input example. This model is now being loaded in the background and the predictions are being executed. This should not take too long because we only have 10 leads. And as I said, it's already done. So let's take a look at the file. And as you can see here, we have our original file, but we also have a predicted merchant sizes for all of our leads. With this, we have now come to the end of our demo. Thank you for watching. Should we have sparked your interest, you are very welcome to check out our project source code or documentation on GitHub. 